here again. Good day, good day, everyone. I have met the top one Kokure. He has shown me how good Kokure can be played even in Legendary Star. So I need to share out this experience with you guys. This is his honor point and his ranking. Full team will always match with full team. If this strategy is working on team play, it will be more effective while we solo play. Because team playing will be more cooperative in defense. We have two fixed shoot and pass characters. Kokure can predict his black door cut timing more precisely. As I mentioned in my Kokure's video, he got blocking talent. Don't underestimate his blocking ability. But it's not top tier due to his basic stats are too low. In this match, my job is simple. Just pressing 3 keys, 1, 4, 2, for layout pass and enjoy the show. Junes is good in setting screen, it is slow defenders down. Good one! Guys, need not to slow down the video. We will keep using the same strategy all the way. Basically, he used backdoor cut to create space at the moment that the teammate is passing to him and use first side step shot, then most likely able to create sufficient spaces. If unable to create any space after backdoor cut, he will pass the ball and reset the play. This is very important. Don't take false shot because his shot is too easy to get blocked. The rival team is looking for wide open chance. Josaki decided to use his second point shot and it's an easy block for me. This is the reason why Josaki will face some difficulties after he climbed higher in rank. Players will start to realize how to defend him. If he spin, teammates should immediately follow up. The onboard defender blocked the first point and the other defender blocked the second point. Kokure's strategy works very well with Sento. If got another center that can score like Takasago, it will be perfect. Sento can attract two defenders, so Monkey will not able to defend Sento two points layout and leap forward to cut off Kokure in time. However, it is defendable if we position ourselves correctly. And of course, our defense is good. And we know our duties. So I let Jun does his job. And he is damn good on it. Let's pay more attention to our positioning. Different characters may have different blocking range. Who is still not sure what is blocking distance? Please click the link on top. Blocking range is directly affected by threats and abilities. When you see someone can do it with same characters, but you can't, this is the reason. Hey ya uh, monkey! OMG OMG! Kokure use his Audi! This is a good timing to use Kokure LD, while Kokure just pick up the floor ball and reset the possession at the same time. Most of the time, defenders will panic and jump directly and forgot to reposition themselves. If standing too close to Kokure, they can't block the shot. We just need to move two steps backward, then it's perfect. Sento's blocking range is huge, that's why I can position myself just outside the paint area so that I can defend both shooters. If I saw Shosaki spin to the middle of the court, I can immediately follow up. If Monkey wants to do a normal jump shot around 3 points lines, I still able to block his shot. For those characters doesn't have blocking talent, we need to stand closer a bit to the shooter. The main concept here is we need not to keep following our target, except for 3 pointers. If possible, don't stand inside their fence shape zone. It will be very dangerous for us, who brings jumps abilities instead of controls. Understanding our characters are very important. And this is the reason why I keep producing most cost-effective series. We need to understand our opponent also. Then we just can know when to assist in defense and when is not a good time. If you guys wonder how I correctly predicted Kyoto's spin direction, please click the link on top. To be honest, the more you play this game with correct mindset, we tend to able to predict our opponent's intention. So long Kogure is able to make the shot, normal interference is still considered good. His resistance and mid-range is pretty good. There is another tip for you guys. If Kokure score about 10 points, most likely he will have his LT. So we need to be more aware of his positioning. If he intentionally stands at the 3 point line, then he is going to use his LT. We should position ourselves too. So long our defensive roles have been delegated, we will not worry about any scoring skills that attack the basket, except for those surprise normal layout or dunks. That is testing our reaction speed. Another technique that Kokure using is catch and shoot. So long he runs to a spot and the defender is standing too close to him, he will directly pull up, or he found a wide open after a backdoor cut. This kind of opportunities will be appear when all of us are fighting for the four ball or resetting the possession. In my cost effective way to train Kokure video, has pointed out these concepts. Thus, the most cost effective series are for us to understand the character, not just for us to saving out our resources. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kills two birds with one stone. So I just summarized his scoring modes. First, using backdoor cut when receiving the pass, and do first side step shot if for space. Second, using catch and shoot while got opportunity. Third one is step on three point line and shoot a long two. 
If the defender misjudged the distance, this trick can be used by any characters. Maki is the best candidate. I just feel pretty lucky to play with number one Kokure. He is really impressive. He shared with us his experience on how to tackle the defenders. I'm glad that he invited me to his game. So we have the chance to see how the best Kokure plays. It's my honor to learn from you guys. I really appreciate you guys share your experience with me so we can improve together. He is a free character but still able to perform in legendary style with correct mindset and strategy. Actually, if your teammate is doing good in scoring, we can just leave it to them. Do not push yourself to score anymore. We do our best in defense, then we will slowly gain more advantages. In this match, Kokure also picked up a lot of robo after successful block, so that a character that has castle ball talent can secure more possession for the team. If you enjoy the content, please give me a like and subscribe my channel. Thank you guys, I will be back.